Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Um, I was very kindly sent these samples, so I thought I would make a little project for them. I got sent these from GPS agencies, I'll have a link in the description below, so check them out. So we've got a few different colours here. Um, sorry if you can't quite make out the, the names on each one. Um, the lighting didn't really work in my favour, but this one's a glow. We had the pink before there. Um, that one is a ghost colour. This one is blue, I believe. Uh, yep. Sorry, I'm trying to see as well as you are. <laughs> and this one's in neon. So I'm going to make a project in the neon and the blue in a little while. But this one's orange. And this one's aqua. You can see the different thicknesses there. And I also got sent these awesome marble effect. Um, ones they're all available on their website there's some really cool patterns and obviously each one's going to be different because it's a total random custom pattern to the the color um, you could use these in a wide range of things as well so it's just a case of figuring out what you want to make and then using them but there's some really cool pieces here that could be turned into some uh, beautiful jewellery, for example. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a test piece on the big pink piece and I'm going to make the blue and the green into two things for my kid. So I thought I'd show you the really cool part. Yep, the glow in the dark. I've not seen this product anywhere else on the market apart from GPS, could be wrong, but they're absolutely fantastic. The camera doesn't show the true colour, unfortunately, um, you do get the, a better colour from them in person. So what I'm doing here is I'm just running an engraving test and then I'm going to do a cut test beside it just to see how it engraves and how it cuts. Um, the reason for the engraving test is to see if we could maybe possibly do like a grayscale um, engraving on it and it would change the effect when it's glowing. So that was the, the plan for that. Um, um, it engraves beautifully, it engraves just like normal acrylic. Um, you can see there, it's hard to pick out the, the lettering at the side on the table so what I'll do is I'll colour that in and I'll put a post on my Instagram with that. So I'll go over to my Instagram and you'll check, you'll be able to see that in a couple of days. But it engraves beautifully. And then with the lights off you can actually see that there is a slight difference in the the shade of the glow. With the bot especially the bottom row where it's a slightly deeper um, engraving. So I'm just going to do the cut test here and see how we get on with that. We did get a little bit of a flame up there, but my air assist's on and I was standing over it um, watching it, so I wasn't too worried. If this was a big job, then obviously the settings would be no good. But that's just why we do these things, it's to test it out. So you can see here, it cuts pretty well. Um, again, I'll do, um, I'll paint in the numbers and stuff and put a picture up on Facebook, so, or Instagram, sorry, and you can see just what my settings were to get an idea. Um, but I ended up going for uh, 12 millimeters a second at about 50% power just sort of um, in the middle of what it can cut speed wise and power wise I don't want to use too much power um, it's never good to run your machine at higher power than you need to so yeah I figured that and then I'll do a test after this just to do a Q uh, the letter Q capital Q and the reason for that is it's a circle um, and if you know about lasers it doesn't um, it's good to sh see how it works basically when the power fluctuates when it's on a curve um, just so you don't get overburn and stuff like that it's hard to describe I'm really sometimes really bad at doing descriptions of what I'm doing so you can see it just pops out perfectly so does the centre and 
it's a really nice clean cut, nice and straight. There's no sort of um, tail outs on the cuts. So just getting straight into the project then. Um, and I'm going to do Minecraft, seeing as that's all the rage at the moment with the film coming out. Have you seen it yet? If you have, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Um, I'm considering going to see it in the next week or so with the kid. So again, it just pops out beautifully. I do like it when it holds it, hold it in the, uh, the the piece you're cutting it from because that way it's easier to transfer it out the laser. Um, yeah, you might have to push it out a little bit, but that's better than having to fish it out from in between the fences, uh, the knife blades on the table. So it's just making the wooden background for the the pickaxe. Um, I actually started cutting it before I engraved or kissed cut the, the surface there, unfortunately. Um, I was going to do it double sided but I decided not to um, and I only used half of this so you'll see what I mean when we get around to the, that part in the table, uh, the, the video. This one's just going to be a little keyring for them. Um, if you play Minecraft you'll know that creepers are an absolute bane of your existence and um, they like to sneak up behind you and explode and kill you which is not fun especially if you're in a cave system somewhere <laughs> it's an absolute nightmare so I thought I'd do a little creeper keyring and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to engrave the this and then cut it out and then what I'll do is I'll paint fill that with some acrylic paints once I get it cleaned up so you can see it really does engrave well. So to paint fill, all I'm doing is using some acrylic paint on a paintbrush and you don't have to be neat and tidy, you just slap it in there. Um, preferably two coats. And with a pickaxe, you'll see it, I'm painting over the um, the blue bit. I'm just going to paint all the way over it and then I can wipe off the excess. So I'm not going to make you sit and watch me paint the whole thing. So you can see it's all painted off and then I go in with a dry paper towel and just wipe off the excess to the, the point of that was just to highlight the, the cubes because obviously Minecraft's a cube game and then for the wood I'm going to colour that black piece black with just a permanent pen um, just to make it the pickaxe stand out a bit for the pickaxe itself I'm using this Coron wood dye it's light oak I think it's called um, and a bit of cotton just to apply that, it's dead easy just gives it a bit of a, a colour and again doesn't make it look just like plain birch plywood basically once I've done that we can get them the creeper and the pickaxe head back and we'll get them cleaned up so I'm just using again a cotton rag wet this time though um, and it just removes off that excess paint nice and simply just with a little bit of rubbing and then leaves on the paint where you want it it's a really easy way to fill the the image that you're painting so it's assembly time and again I'm just going to use super glue to get all that assembled dead easy and then we'll get it out into the dark so you can see how it looks I actually used tweezers this time to save my getting covered in um, super glue and then for the key ring I'm just applying the jump ring and then closing that up and then we have our key ring so now it's on the bed of the laser it looks really cool I think the kid, my kid really likes it I've given it a minute since I've done this and he really likes it so I'll yeah, and for the glow effect, there you go. The creeper stands out better than the pickaxe does, obviously, because there's more in the creeper than there is in the pickaxe. But I really like these products for GPS. If you've liked this video and you like the products, do check them out. Consider subscribing and like the video. Thanks, folks. Catch you next time. Bye.